In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a V-Ray HDRI to light a scene. So instead of using lights and putting a bunch of lights in your scene, if you just want to make some quick renders with an ambient lighting, you can use HDRI lighting. So to do that, you first want to set up an HDRI material. So you want to use an empty material slot, select Get Material, and then under the maps, this is the only time when you, that you want to use maps instead of materials here. But for this one, you want to go down to Maps and select V-Ray HDRI. Double click on it, and you have a blank square here. You can then load your HDRI file right here. So if you select Browse, and then go to your desktop, for example, or just find one of these HDRI images and open that, you want to make sure also that the, the file type is HDR or HDRI. A JPEG, a lot of people think that's HDRI, but it doesn't have the same color range. So you want to use an HDR image. Um, and then really, depending on how the image was made, you want to change the mapping type here. And it's really just a trial and error sort of thing. So if your HDRI image isn't looking good, if the lighting looks sort of strange or off, you can try to cycle through these until it, it actually looks good. And it'll be pretty obvious which one's working. You can also rotate both horizontally and vertically or flip your image. So if, you, if part of your HDRI is brighter on one side, you can flip it or rotate it so that it's casting the brightest area on uh, a particular view based on your camera angle. So the next thing you want to do once you've loaded your HDRI is to apply it. If you go to rendering render setup into your render setup. So if you go to um, into indirect or sorry into V-Ray and then go into the environment tab. You want to load this HDRI into the environment and the reflection environment. So if you just drag this into these two map slots as an instance, that way if you change it here it'll update it and change it here as well. You want to drag it into both slots as an instance. That'll load it into the V-Ray. Also if you go to rendering environment, you can load it in here as well as an instance. So now if you render, it'll be using that HDRI to light your scene, so you don't need any other lights. So if I hit Rendering, Render Setup, and then Render, you can see it actually lights the scene pretty well without using individual lights for um, different um, areas of your model. 